New at five, thousands of Georgia students are now only allowed to participate in sports based on the gender listed on their birth certificate. Today, an executive committee with the Georgia High School Association voted unanimously to change its policy. An effective ban is now in place on transgender student athletes at nearly 500 schools statewide. Joe Ripley here with us now with the three big things that you need to know. Yeah, first, the GHSA struck a line in its bylaws returning authority over transgender students in sports back to the organization before that power belonged to each individual school. This policy had been in place since 2016. After a unanimous 62 to 0 vote, the policy reverts now back to pre 2016 status. Second, this policy change comes after Governor Brian Kemp signed a law last week empowering the GHSA to exclude transgender athletes. The governor said the law would put students and parents first by quote putting woke politics out of the classroom and off the ball field. Third, critics opposed to the ban on transgender athletes argue there are no instances of trans athletes here in Georgia creating an unfair advantage for others. Timothy Holbrook, a law professor over at Emory University, says the new policy targets trans students. These students are, are facing a really challenging uh, road of wrestling with their gender identity. To be singled out in this way is only going to complicate that path and won't make it easier. Coming up at six, why one committee member voted to implement the transgender student ban in Georgia high schools and why opponents accuse the GHSA of rushing their decision. All right, Joe, thank you.